Welcome back to the rest of the story. I think I told you guys the other day that we brought the chisel plow up for its yearly maintenance. Because right now we're trying to get everything fixed up, ready for harvest. And one of the things that's pretty common with harvest is usually it will harvest all day and then I'll go chisel plow for some of the night, part of the night. And an issue we had have is that the chisel plow is only sporting one of its gangs right now, its disc gangs or front culters, depends on who you are and how you want to say it. Well, a little background here. I was finishing up chisel plowing this spring. Granted, if some of my early subscribers know that we only had less than 50 acres to chisel plow this year, and actually it was less than 50, I think it was closer to 30. And what happened is these brackets, yes, these brackets that the gang goes on, on each side, started to fail. They started to crack. You can see the flange gave. And you can see I even tack welded it, trying to get it through the last couple acres. And it worked all the way up until the, what, third? pass from being done. When I say pass, I mean down, back, down. I mean, that's it. That's all it would have taken. Because a round is down and back. A pass is just down. Down to the end of the strip, down to the end of the field. That's just one direction. Well, I had three passes left to go, and the gang fell off. Well, Needless to say, at, was it, like 10 o'clock at night, the gang could sit in the field. I'm getting done chisel plowing. And I did. And the gang has been patiently waiting to be fixed. And we will get it done. I just talked to the local red dealership. And it's going to cost a bit of money. Like, north of $1,000 to fix. Um, all I had to get was the two brackets that the gang goes on, both these black brackets. Um, the spring on this side is shot. The rod is also shot. So I'm going to be replacing both these, that, that. The bearing and flange, that is one piece. So actually I have two of the bearings coming. I have to tear apart the disc gang, which is really no big deal to me. And I think that's it. The two bearings, the two brackets, there's two springs in here, and the rod. All that for a little over a grand. But that's actually not that bad. It seems how I was concerned that they would even have the brackets available. Like, I was kind of relieved when they did tell me that, that they could get them. They had to order them, but they should be in tomorrow. So, hopefully by this weekend, this may be my weekend project, depending on how the weekend goes. It's going to require not a whole lot. Um, two bolts there. i got to probably do some fabricating. Might get a little creative with the torch. But we'll see if I can't just turn the camera on like we did with the combine, and I'll just let it run. So, we got this done. We had... The durator in the small 10,000 bushel bin had a heart failure. Dad and Ryan are currently working on that. And I'll get a shot of that too. Really not showing you too much in the bin. Uh, maybe I'll just go in and I'll videotape it and I can do a voiceover. Because it echoes in the bin. That's why you don't catch me talking in there too much. So, yeah, you guys can look forward to the chisel plow video coming up. The combine itself is done. All that's left is the corn head. And as soon as Mr. Tucker gets the puller for the rolls in, we're going to be working on those too. So, yeah. It's 80 degrees out today, and it's actually pretty nice out for being September. You can get pretty nice warm days clear up into October, but typically once it hits September, I'm grateful for any decent days out. 
because once you hit this time of year, I expect it to kind of gradually cool off. I mean, we just filled our LP tanks for our furnaces yesterday. So. Yep, this is it for the concert till 6500 chisel plow of ours. It is built light. We need a bigger chisel plow. If people are going to disagree. That's fine. But um, yeah. Take care. Take it easy. Keep in touch. We got more destruction to come.